you know, this, so this seminar, this webinar is part of um, a free education program, this Maryland um, business. Yeah, rebooted. Rebooted. Yeah, yeah. Um, and our goal was to provide entrepreneurs, business owners, and even um, individuals with some information or education that will help them during this time of pandemic. So as an alum of the Smith School of Business and having done your MBA here, we um, tell us from your perspective, I and mean, we're, we're covering things like strategy, accounting, digital marketing. We're going to have a series on retailing in the, in the spring. Could you tell us what important areas or topics um, you think people should focus on um, as they try to kind of skill up either for their employment or as a business owner? And maybe those are two different answers. One of the most important uh, um, uh, areas of, of, of study, I think, that I benefited from was accounting. Um, uh, most people that go into business, oftentimes, um, you know, they may have inherited something or, you know, decided let's open a restaurant. They may have, you know, they may be like have some kind of degree in something, but has nothing to do with business. And, uh, you know, always, always kind of like didn't think of accounting as being all that important. It was like, if you take in more than you spend, then you're doing okay. You know, like that's, that's, the, that's the basic, which it works. I mean, it, it definitely works. Um, I, like I said, I didn't get my MBA till I was like just a few years ago. Uh, and, and, uh, what it was it two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, but it was, it was, uh, but I was still successful. Right. I, I, I understood some of the basics, but I wasn't really very focused on the finer details of my P and L statement, my balance sheet, my, you know, cash flow statement. Uh, once I learned those, a whole world opened up. It's like, it's like, duh! you know, it's like I started seeing things in 3D and in color. And it's like, oh my goodness, every number has meaning. It's like, oh, I don't have to just look at the very bottom line. I can look at all the other stuff and really understand it and engage with my, with my, you know, finance guy and be able to have a conversation with them, you know? So that Did it was- change how you, how you managed some things in your restaurant? What was that? Did it change how you managed? Something? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I, I mean, I look at numbers really closely now, much more so than I ever did. And I, you know, you know, we we put, we have we have we, we have different measurements now, different, uh, you know, you know, key indicators and all of that. So it's it's a lot of changes that have happened. And also, I think one of the other things I think has helped me is really kind of to look at data. Uh, that a lot of times we tend to do things through intuition, uh, mm -hmm. certainly if you're in business and that's, you know, a lot of successful entrepreneurs and business people do that and they do it very well. But sometimes, you know, if you're going to scale up, if you're going to be able to, you know, grow, if you're going to go in new markets that you may not have the intuition to understand, uh, then, then I think it's uh, important to have the data uh, there to be able to look at. Uh, so, yeah, so looking at data, uh, looking at systems, that was really that was really important to understand systems, uh, system flow, uh, understand the economics of, of business was really cool. I I, I would say the the uh, the learning I did was invaluable. Now I wish I had done it maybe five years earlier, not much more. Like mm -hmm. I don't want to do this at the beginning and then go into business because then you end up being stuck in this sort of like forever looking at numbers and stuff like that. You never do it. Uh, you know, it's good to do it and then get the, the MBA and then be able to, to use it uh, after the practical.